Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, I'm going to give you guys at least eight tips to help you improve in ranked and hopefully grind your way towards masters. So some of these will take a lot more explaining than I'll do in this video. So maybe if you want to see an extension of this one, you can drop a comment in the comment section below. But anyways, hopefully these tips will really help improve your game overall. Some of them are pretty obvious, but let's jump into it then. So the first one is going to be how to pinch your lanes. So I feel like this one I need to do an extensive guide on because my randoms just don't understand this concept whatsoever. And I learned this pretty quickly, especially when I wanted to play competitive. So it's more important, I would say, on game modes like Gem Grab or Brubble, where you need some good map positioning. And of course, you can't really pinch well on every single map. We'll give you guys a few examples. So, if you take a look at maps like Double Swoosh and Rustic Arcade, for example, where the mid, the mid's sole purpose is literally to collect gems, and you know, typically they're a sniper, so they can pinch lanes really well. But if you pinch your lane, more than likely your lane will be able to push up the map and then start pushing onto their enemy gem carrier so that's why pinching lanes is so essential essentially a pinch all it is is two people shooting the same person but it's really good when there's a person behind a wall which has which they have a lot of good positioning so of course you want to get them down as quickly as possible because if you don't deal with that brawler it's going to get further and further into your spawn and just cause more problems delay time you just want to pinch them get them out and gain better position and that's essentially what it is so again look at double swoosh there's that little wall down that left hand side you know typically you set and one person really wide that's why i always say in a lot of tips and videos is to never just fall back and like especially go towards the mid you want to just stay wide because at least then your mid can pinch with you so send the left one as far wide as possible and then your mid can kind of pinch around that wall as well and you both shoot at the same time and pinch the opponent out so that's the simplest terms i can put it in but of course there's more extensive stuff i can do on this so let me know if you want me to do that this tip is very essential for this meta because snipers are just running all over the meta so i've got a few tips to help you improve on snipers again i can go really in depth on this but a good key tip is to just watch pro players with their snipers try and find some pro gameplay when they're playing brewers like Piper, bell and you'll pick up some good aiming tips there but the main one i learned this from watching some of the best players in the world like crazy raccoon watching the likes of Sai tampo and tensai their uh, gameplay i'll leave a link to their channels below but the way they aim is just absolutely crazy so instead of like the usual kind of flicks you want to kind of avoid that because the problem with flicks is that yeah you might be able to get some quick good aim but at the same time you can have some insanely bad accuracy so i've learned over the past year or so to try as much as possible just to kind of wiggle your analog in little directions just little ones to keep your aim really fresh but at the same time again you don't want to just know that bystander aim which just flicks and it just goes off way to the side just make sure that you're keeping that crosshair as close to the brawler as possible just keep wiggling it in and around that brawler so then even if you miss it's a very high chance that you're going to hit that shot in particular that's what i like doing with bell in particular and if you want to practice this as much as possible choose bell main reason being because she's got really good range she's got much faster reload speed than piper so you can just keep spraying out shots it doesn't matter as much if you miss your shots at least you can practice your aim there again there's a lot of good tips that i can give but it will take much longer so let me know whether you want to see those aiming tips next tip is with drafting so obviously you don't draft until you get towards like diamond tier but once you get into diamond you need to learn how to draft so the very basics to drafts which help you win a lot of games is to learn what are good last picks and what are good sixth picks so a lot of people still ask me that question now so when i do my drafting guides i'll leave a link to the description on that video uh, that's really helpful my power league guide but anyways the first picks which i did on all those graphics are the best picks for the map so the reason why you want to learn that is because say for example your opponent gets the first pick you need to ban the best brawlers in the game the best brawlers on that modifier on that map in specific so it's really key to of course learn the meta but of course you'll probably just pick up on things as you go along but it's very important because that could literally just throw you the game you know for example if i on stream you know opponent has first pick and i completely forget to ban larry and laurie or leon and they get their hands on that brawler a lot of the time it's extremely hard at least this meta is a little bit more balanced so i'll stress that probably more on an unbalanced meta you know in previous metas when larry and laurie were completely broken or when fang was broken then that would literally lose you the game if you left those brawlers open you would lose so it's very important for the basics of drafting and again for sixth pick in particular so this is more so I don't know if you play like for example i play time detonator 
and Fang is a very good counter pick to a lot of his sniper brawlers. So, if I have first pick, the opponent will have sixth pick, so I'll make sure that I'm banning a bunch of assassins or throwers, or of course it matters on the modifier, but for example, Time Detonator, I bang Fang, I ban Leon or other brawlers like that that will counter the snipers. So that's just one thing to bear in mind. It's a lot more complex than that, but at least learning the basics will improve your win rate a lot. The next tip, this is going to be very broad, but of course it's very complex because there's now 77 brawlers in the game, and that's to know your matchup. Well, at least know your best matchup. So again, I, I did like a how to counter every brawler in the game video, which will really help you learn all the different matchups and what best way to win a game. But this is important in draft as well because again if so many people make the same mistake i'll use spike as an example where i see people pick spike into like nanny or piper or something like that that's just not knowing your matchups for example or just in game again if the opponent picks spike because he's a very popular pick in rank right now and uh well my teammate picks spike and they just end up going down the lane which has a grom on it or a sprout that is just really bad you want to be making sure you're getting the right matchup and that'll improve your win rate a lot again if i've got a good matchup i don't know say if i'm clear and there's an enemy tank i'm making sure i'm following that tank as much as possible to get the most value out of my pick as possible of course again i want to be staying away from my counters so you know if i pick clear i want to be staying away from bell i want to be staying away from spike those type of brawlers so knowing your matchups is very key the best way again is just to literally play brawl stars as much as possible see which brawlers you struggled against and don't repeat that same thing in the next game because of course that will help you improve and learn a lot better so now moving on to the next tip and this one is just so underrated people don't understand the concept of this enough and i can't stress it enough because it's such a huge deciding factor on who's going to win the game so just know that pressure alone can win you games so pressure can be formed in multiple ways in Brawl Stars. Of course, it can be formed in hypercharges, supers, just map positioning, just literally being in the right place at the right time. But it's, it's different in different game modes. So again, you take Knockout, for example. The reason why I stress the make pick so much is because maps aren't like out in the open or just any Knockout map. If you just force the opponents back into spawn, then the gas will close them in. And just because you've got so much HP and so much pressure from duking a few shots and getting them into spawn, you've won the game. That's why pressure is so important. It doesn't matter about your kills to death ratio. As long as you're winning the game, that's fine. The same goes with, you know, gamers like Hot Zone. If you're constantly in their spawn, in the grass, and it takes forever for the opponents to pinch you out on a map like Ring of Fire, for example, you know, they've wasted 10, 15, 20 seconds to pinch you out that's going to correlate into some good time zone on the hot zone so again you think of gem grab that's just really good for pressure that's the basics when i think of pressure in brew stars for example if your lane is just going absolutely crazy he's in spawn he's a leon he's killed the gem carrier he's killed the lane he's in their spawn he's wasting so much time that allows you to pick up more gems it just that's just of course the extremes of it all you can do literally is just push up to their enemy side you know if you're a double swoosh and you're in enemy grass that's just allowing your gem carrier to pick up gems so pressure comes in all multiple forms just know that of course you don't want to play completely recklessly but by taking time out of the opponent's game making them pinch you out consistently that's just gonna win a lot of time it's gonna come down to you winning the game the next tip is another drafting tip so i've expressed this a lot hopefully you guys know not to do this anymore is to not pick the same type of brawlers especially if the opponents have last picks so a good one to go off that a lot of people make the same mistake on is specifically in the hot zone i see a lot of times in dueling beetles you know my my teammates will pick like Stu and a poco or I know Stu and Mr. P, Stu and Squeak. There's like two brawlers that have really low DPS. So that allows the opponents to then pick a really good counter pick. Like if the opponents have any brain cells, they'll go something with a lot of HP, a lot of aggression. Because of course, Squeak and Stu just don't have the ammo or damage to keep up the aggression. So that's just a big mistake people make. Again, another mistake that people used to make. I don't see it too often. Is again, people pick multiple sharpshooters. So I don't know. Still, in like Hot Zone, if people, someone picks like Grey and and then bell and then the opponents has left a last pick they've just picked a miko and then i've literally had a game on streams a bell went one and 14 because they picked a bell against miko so that's just some typical drafting skills that you should know by now so another good tip to help you improve in ranked is to definitely just know the meta for maps and modifiers there's nothing worse than loading into a game and you see quick fire and you just completely forget who is really strong in quick fire because again if you let the opponents get like a leon or a gene it's pretty much over at that point so 
for me personally of course i've got my pc set up so on my other screen i'll just have the best brawlers on my left hand side just because again sometimes i might just forget and have a lapse in concentration it's just good to have it in front of me again if you just got your mobile phone or you just got a piece of paper literally a piece of paper and note down quick fire big friend time detonator and just literally list like five of their best brawlers again you can see my video on that previously it's just a quick refresher so you don't lose out in a draft straight away because draft is just as important as the real game so learn a meta and learn a modifiers okay so moving on to the final tip for this video and it is to not be afraid to take risks in draft so i'm not talking be stupid at the beginning of draft i'm talking more so as a sick pick because people don't understand the weight that sixth pick has especially in this meta uh i would say in every single meta sixth pick is the best the main reason being is because once you've got to that last pick you can see the entire enemy composition on your screen so that allows you some time to figure out how many bros can you counter with your pick you know, for example if you're facing off against two snipers on a map like spells rock you can probably straight away think oh i might be able to go a thrower here for example and that will counter two of them i can have two good matchups if i follow them around the whole game then i'm going to enhance our chances of winning so i can't stress it enough there's so many tips about draft which of course i'm not the perfect drafter you know playing scrims and just playing as much ranked as possible is going to improve your draft as much as possible but just don't be afraid to take risks the worst you can do is lose it's not the end of the world but at least you can learn some things from it i like just experimenting a lot of times in ranked because it's just good to learn what matchups like all the different matchups all the different uh things you can go there's endless possibilities in ranks so just don't go safe as a sixth pick make sure you're trying to counter as many brothers as possible so that's it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed this one again it's not as in-depth as i probably would like it but i could probably do it on dodging on drafting on uh shooting on enemy like maybe even position i think pressure might even like uh, for me might even get a standalone video because of how complex pressure can be and people just don't really think about it but that's gonna be it hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time